Alright, this is how I make my lunch. This is what I have almost every day. I'll show you how I do it here. Got me a nice skillet. I'm gonna turn the heat up to high. Olive oil, about an ounce of olive oil in the pan, let it start getting hot. getting hot and get me some veggies ready. This is some uh, salad in here. Just chop it up. Had to wash it first because you know celery is not always clean. Okay, have a piece while you're at it. A little bit of celery. This here's some chopped onion that I have from before. A little bit of chopped onion. Put that in there. These are uh, green peppers, chopped up green peppers. Put some of those in there. Ah, put them all in there. I'm enough to make another batch anyway. I like to put carrots in mine, but I like to shred the carrots. So here's some shredded carrots. Put that in there. A little bit of uh, squash, about a third of this squash. Not too thick, or else it won't cook good. So, not super thin, but not super thick. Just kind of medium cut there. Add in there. We need some mushrooms. Love mushrooms. I don't like the super big chunks, so I cut them up a little bit. I like so. So we got that, now a little bit of salt and pepper, just a tad of salt, I don't know, I'm a salty guy, I like a little bit of salt, and then some uh, smoked paprika, give it a smoky flavor. Made a mess. Anyway, I'm going to let this uh, grill up. I'll be back with you in a second when it's grilled. Okay, veggies are all pretty much sauteed, grilled, whatever the heck you want to call it. Starting to get a little bit of brown on them. So they're soft but not mushy. Now we have some chicken, pre-cooked chicken. Shred it up. Uh, take that and put it in your mix. As much as you want. I've done ham too. Chicken's better for you. There. We got some chicken in there. Now the chicken is dry and it's going to absorb a bunch of the moisture. So I need to add just a little bit more. 
What I got here is a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Just a little dash or two of Worcestershire sauce. This is blood orange fused olive oil. Um, you put this in right at the end before you're getting ready to take it off the heat. You don't want to cook this too much because all of the flavor will go away. Uh, the orange flavor tends to disappear if you cook it too much. So, just a little bit of this blood orange. I also have some uh, cayenne pepper infused. It's really good too. But I'm going to share this so I can't make it spicy. We got that blood orange in there, boy. As soon as you put it in, boy, you can smell it. Smells good. Gives it a little tang. And we'll turn the heat off. Just mix it around so I get that orange all spread all over. Now I just set that to the side. Now I'm going to use a little trick I found here recently. This is a carbon fiber mat, grilling mat, and uh, I like my wraps to be toasted. So I take my wraps, and with the heat off, I have the heat off on the stove, I take this and I just plop it right down there on top. And it lets me toast the wrap. Now watch how hot you get it though. That's going to be number two. Woo. Ha, ha, ha. So now we we'll take our wraps. Put them on here. Put some of our veggies and chicken in there. And one last ingredient. This is Frank's red hot wing sauce. Any kind of wing sauce, I think. Or you could use other sauces, I guess, but I like the red hot. And pour some of that in there. This helps give it some moisture and flavor. And there you go. Lunch for a king.